what exercises are recommended? The key considerations for your exercise regime is to focus on continued improvement in your cardiovascular condition to benefit your heart, your lungs, and your circulatory system. This will also benefit many other aspects of your health, such as reducing blood pressure, reducing cholesterol, improving your sleep, and improving recovery after any stress. Recommended forms of exercise include walking, swimming, cycling, and when your recovery permits, more strenuous activities such as gentle running and hill walking. Further recommendations for acceptable exercise are referred to in the resources list at the end of this guide under exercise. These sources recommend suitable activities and those which produce an exercise level of three to five METs. METs. Metabolic equivalents describe the intensity of exercises with the values based on how much each activity increases blood pressure. Increase the amount and degree of exercise you do slowly, staying within your capacity as that develops. If you tire yourself out, you will need extra rest and sleep and you may be surprised by how much. When this happens, there is a natural tendency to try and catch up with missed exercise by doing more exercise, which tires you out even more. This can lead to the overactivity rest cycle shown in the graph below. This image is of a graph stating the overactivity and rest cycle with the X axis being the goal and the Y axis being activity. This indicates a series of peaks and valleys of rest being a valley and peaks being trying to catch up with activity. And over time with this downward trend, you'll see that fitness goes down, success, confidence, and fun go down, but your stress level and your misery will go up. This graph shows pacing with X axis being goal and the Y axis being activity. And it appears to look like it is a trending upward pattern that looks like stairs. What it indicates is smaller incremental steps towards exercise will lead to a higher degree of fitness, success, confidence, and fun, and lower stress and misery. Little and often is the key. Avoid this by exercising regularly and increasing the intensity in small manageable steps. This is called pacing and is shown in the graph above. You may be given information about these principles during your cardiac rehabilitation. You should work up to a recommended amount of exercise of 30 minutes of aerobic exercise for five days a week, totaling 150 minutes a week. You may not be able to achieve this in the early days, even after a cardiac rehabilitation class. However, by following the principles above of pacing and avoiding the overactivity rest cycle, you should be able to build up to that in time. Once you're comfortable to achieve 150 minutes per week, you can go on to more exercise if you wish, but you should try and maintain a minimum of 150 minutes per week over the long term. Try to maintain a regular exercise regime, even if you must cut back a little on the exertion each time. This is because if you stop exercising for more than a few days, you may find your progress has slipped back and you will need to spend time recovering. Your blood pressure will rise moderately during exercise. This is normal and acceptable. If you are concerned, monitor your blood pressure during and after exercise to check that it is not excessive and that it returns to normal soon after exercise.